We're not just the Judaics, we're not just the general studies, we're not just the PE. We are Hillel, and one of the things we really focus on it at Hillel is getting to the heart of the child, really trying to teach the kids the love for the Torah, for Israel, and for the Jewish people. And suddenly, being Jewish is not just something you do in a classroom or in a vacuum, but being Jewish is actually something that is a part of their entire lives. And hopefully by the time the kid graduates with fifth grade, they have a really strong feeling of what it is to be and live the life of a Jew. Our goal this year is to capture their minds. And we all know that you cannot capture a child's mind until you've captured their heart. And I think when you get to each child's soul individually, you can get so much more from them. Here at Halal, we believe in educating the whole child, uh, which means in PE and athletics, we work on developing a healthy mind inside of a healthy body. Uh, we also have very strong relationships with our families here. Communication is almost daily. Students are always free to write as many affirmations as they want, and it's guided in the sense that we let them know we're looking for specific character traits uh, that we want them to be noticing in their uh, colleagues or peers. As you know, some of our students demonstrate many talents, uh, musical talents, artistic talents, and very strong athletic talents. These same students may have um, varied academic learning strengths, as well as varied diversified learning differences. Through a nurturing and supportive environment based on individual needs, the Learning Center provides ongoing support and monitoring. In ESOL, uh, we need the needs of our children by allowing them a comfortable and safe environment. And here we try to expand on what they're doing in the classroom. And at the same time, the safe environment that they have here that we've provided for them allows them to make mistakes, to be themselves. And also we nurture them and try to give them a lot of moral support. We help make the learning come alive by meeting the children where they are developmentally as well as emotionally. Learning is a process and it looks very different for everybody. You know, our goal is to help ensure that each and every one of our students is successful in and outside of the classroom. Science this year is all inquiry based. We all work together and we all plan together um, to meet each child's needs and to figure out how to make science alive for each and every student. It's through experiments, through the garden, through um, field trips that we're going to attend. What our goal is, is to help the child succeed, not only with his reading and his writing, but with his math skills and with his emotional skills as well. Um, to cater to the individual needs, I um, do both formal and informal assessments at the beginning of the year to see um, the class as a whole and the class as individuals and that um, guides my instruction for um, the rest of the year. Planning for, for any lesson, we always try to have um, as much as many manipulatives as possible, keep things hands-on, um, interesting. interesting, try to keep things very relevant and real-world, things that they can relate to and that they can share and add their own experiences or background knowledge. Many of the tools that we need right now are technology and then computers. We use that quite a bit with our reading program and our writing program where the children have an opportunity to use 21st century technology. In social studies, we also have online activities for children to do. We started about two years ago flexible groupings in the Ivrit classes third through fifth, and this year, actually first through fifth. 
We also serve new kids to Hillel by providing them with an Ulpan class. It's a small group and we can, I can really reach each child and their own individual needs. Through the universal language of music, we can really touch upon getting the kids to communicate and learn their own communication skills. Um, through the use of the violin, the kids learn critical thinking and cognitive skills, hand-eye coordination, and it really caters to the whole child. It's when all of these pieces come together in an organized and creative way that we can truly say that we have a system that works and we've reached every child's needs.